Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Can you imagine shortly after uh, Easter, we may have discussed this, but can you imagine thinking, believing uh, that the person that you had followed person that you had loved um, you had watched him raise the dead heal the sick proclaim that he was the son of God can you imagine knowing that he had been put in the tomb after being beaten hung on a cross dying and then placed in the tomb and can you imagine how lost you must have felt how lost these men on that road to Emmaus must have felt believing that they had put their faith and their hope and their trust in this man and I often think like this can you imagine Satan what he must have been saying to to say like to um the rich young ruler who said, what good thing must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said, well, you do this, 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 and this. And he said, I've done all those things. He said, well, he said, then you uh, take what you have, sell it, and give it to the poor, and take up your cross and follow me. Well, you went away sorrowful, the scripture says. But can you imagine Satan, what he must have been saying on that day that Jesus died? He must have said to that man, can you, aren't you so glad you didn't? take everything you had and sell it and follow that fella like he said for you to do because now he's dead and you would have had nothing and I think so many times if you make it personal you can look at other people in the scripture as the word of God talks about that had met Jesus but maybe didn't uh, wasn't fully persuaded to follow him and on the day that he passed the day Satan may have said to them see I told you there was nothing to that but could you imagine on that third day when he rose again and when the word gets back to you as being the man who should have sold everything that he had and followed him? I think of this um, when we when we hear that story of those men on that road to Emmaus, how that they didn't understand who Jesus was until uh, their eyes were opened. And that's what this song talks about. I've sang it on here before my dad used to sing this quite often so we'll get and give it a shot stranger on the road traveling down the road from calvary two men were lonely and so sad they were talking of a man called jesus the best And this is the story they told him. We've lost the best friend we ever had. But he said, let not your hearts be troubled. Fear not, I'll lift your heavy load. Then they knew this was the man called Jesus. The stranger they met on the road Their heads were bowed and they were weeping For the one that they had lost They were weeping for the man called Jesus They hung their Savior on the They'd hung their Savior on the cross. Be 
didn't stay dead, did he? He didn't stay in that tomb, that's for sure. Lord, we thank you for all you do for us. Lord, we thank you for who you are. And God, I pray that you would watch over and bless today for those that hear this. Lord, you know the needs. God, you know the things that... Uh, each of us face, Lord, I pray to God that you would bless, Lord, help. There are some preparing, Lord, for um, arrangements to go and to uh, spend their last hours maybe with loved ones. And some maybe already are uh, waiting now for services for loved ones. And some, no doubt, are expecting um, to welcome new loved ones into this world we all face different things at different times but it seems as if it all eventually comes to our door and we face the same thing god help us to have mercy compassion love for those around us lord because we never know even if we've been somewhere ourselves we never truly know what the next person is feeling lord i pray that you would bless today in jesus name Amen. God bless you, folks. Uh, Clyde and Diane. Clyde, if you're watching, we do thank you. Teresa thanks you for the puzzles uh, sent from Myrtle Beach. God bless you all. Have a great day.